Welcome to the 2024 solar eclipse, as the world awaits this astronomical phenomenon that is repeated annually in different regions of the world. Pen. The first in 2024. Prayer for the solar eclipse on Monday, April 8. It's time and it's virtue. The Chudi Fusu solar eclipse will occur on Monday, April 8. Chudi Fusu, and it is a total solar eclipse, and it will not be seen in Egypt or any Arab country. The partial solar eclipse begins at exactly 5.45 p.m. local time in Cairo, and the total eclipse peaks. At exactly 8 o'clock and 17 minutes in the evening, the partial eclipse ends at 10 and 52 minutes recording a period of 5 hours and approximately 10 minutes, while the total eclipse takes a period of 4 approximately minutes. The solar eclipse prayer consists of two rakah HS, in each rakah there is two standing, and two recitations of al fatiha and what is available of the Quran, two bowing, and a sajar. Two times. The eclipse and eclipse prayer is a sunnah on the authority of the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace. On the authority of Aisha, may God be pleased with her, that the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, he said, indeed, the sun and the moon are two of the signs of God. They do not eclipse due to the death or life of anyone, so if you see that, then pray. Agreed upon. Within days, the earth will witness the last solar eclipse in 2023, which is an annular eclipse that will affect various parts of the world. In all countries of the world, it is the second solar eclipse this year, and it is followed within days by a lunar eclipse, as the Institute for Astronomical Research revealed how much is it possible to see them in Egypt. According to what was announced by the American Space Agency NASA, the annular eclipse, which is known as the Ring of Fire, will affect parts of Earthquake next Saturday, October 14th, will affect parts of the United States of America, Mexico and Colombia. Oh, Brazil, South America, and Central America. While the eclipse will be seen partially in West Africa, North America, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Antarctic continent. The Northern Eclipse and the Institute of Astronomical Research in Egypt confirmed that the solar eclipse will not be seen in Egypt. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. So the sun, moon, and earth all lie on the same line, ETC. During the eclipse period, the moon temporarily covers the disk of the sun, casts its shadow on the earth, and blocks the sun's rays for a short period. It is complete, partial, or annular. During an annular eclipse, the moon does not completely cover the disk of the sun, which leads to the appearance of a ring of light around the dark moon. The path of the eclipse began in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of southern Canada and is moving across the southwestern United States and America. Chea, Colombia and Brazil, according to what was explained by D.R. Oshroff Taros, professor of astronomy, explaining that the partial eclipse will be visible in most parts of North and South America and the western part of the continent of Rikia. It is expected that when the solar eclipse occurs on October 14th, Chudi Fusi, the moon will cover about 95% geography of the entire disk of the sun, and the eclipse will take from from its beginning to its end. It will last approximately 3 hours and 52 minutes, while the annular eclipse will last a period of 3 minutes and 2 seconds. A lunar eclipse always coincides with a solar eclipse, as the Earth will witness a partial eclipse on October 28th, corresponding to Rabi 13. The end of 1445 coinciding with the full moon of the month of Rabi al 1445, and a lunar eclipse will be visible in Egypt. During the eclipse period, the Earth will cover approximately 12% she of the moon's surface, and all stages of the eclipse from its beginning until its end will take this as a period of approximately 4 hours and 23 minutes, while the eclipse will last from the beginning of the first partial eclipse until the end of the second partial eclipse lasted approximately 1 hour and 18 minutes. A lunar eclipse does not occur except at a time when the moon is set. Or in that case, the earth is between the sun and the moon, and the earth's shadow falls on the moon. 
The upcoming lunar eclipse will be visible in Egypt, as well as Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, and North and East America. The South, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Continent, and Antarctica the southern city. The first solar eclipse of the current year, Tudi Fusei, occurred on April 20th last, when the Earth witnessed a rare type of eclipse called a solar eclipse. Hybrid mixed how to pray the first solar eclipse in 2024. Prayer for the solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th, its time and its merits, e. The Muslim begins the solar eclipse prayer by saying the Tabur Ali Ram too. He begins with the opening supplication, seeks refuge in says Basmala, then recites al fatiha then Surat al-Baqarah or its length. Saying that he bows for a long time and recites the amount of 100 verses of Tasbih. Then he rises from his bowing and recites the Tasbih and praises him for his upright posture. Si, then he recites al fatiha and a surah without the first recitation, like the whole of Imran or its full amount. Then he kneels and prolongs the bowing, which is short of the first bowing. Ooh, then he rises from the bowing and says Allahu Akbar and praise be to him but does not prolong the standing position. Then he prostrates two long prostrations, and does not sit for a long time between the two prostrations. Liu then he stands for the second raka, and does the same as mentioned in the first raka of the two raka hs and elsewhere. But without he continued at length in everything he did, then he recited the tashahat and said the salam. The solar eclipse prayer begins from the beginning of the eclipse until it goes away, and it is not prayed until the people see the eclipse, according to the Prophet saying, if you see anything from that, separate until it is cleared. Thank you, and may God's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you.